Hey guys, Ken here from Backpacking Light. And I just want to do a quick overview of the Pretense Light Rock one man tent. This is a two wall tent with a solid inner and it's freestanding one man tent, solo tent. And weighs about 1.2 kilos. Yeah, just wanted to set it up show the outside, the inside, and kind of give you an idea of what the light rock is. When you buy the light rock tents or any of the TF pre-tents, if you buy any of the pre-tents, they come with everything you need to get started. You've got your tent poles and a bunch of tent pegs in there, and these are your hard aluminum pegs that are actually quite usable. These are tent pegs and I've used some kind of variation of these kinds of tent pegs for years. Uh, they're by far my favorite as I can just bash them any way I need to. So, so you can see that that's quite well strengthened with X-Pack there. Uh, and that's not gonna rip. And that's pretty much it. something that every tent manufacturer misses is every single guy out. They might have like the Apex or something, but every single guy out on these tents. There's no, there's absolutely no corners cut on the pre-tents. So I'll go ahead and set that up. Spin around and back into its little holder there. And then you can just... And this is, of course, this is of course quite nice so that you can set it up even in pouring rain and it's not going to get the inside of your tent wet. So there you have it. You can see that it's a quick tent to set up and at no time did I need to go inside and open it up or anything like that. I mean, it's a complete setup. And I think the Light Rock is a perfectly good name for it because this thing is a rock. And I would easily uh, use it for just about anything. That's pretty impressive craftsmanship actually. There is no shortcuts anywhere. You can see it's got that nice ventilation here. Give you a nice protection there. And every single tie out has this extra support. The X-Pack or grid stop support. And the poles easily just click in there and those are mounted quite easily. On top of that, you even got these extra tie outs, which you can put this side against the heavy winds, tie that down, and this tent isn't going anywhere because it's still got a good protection against the wind just in its design. So I would put these ends towards the wind, wherever that wind is blowing, tie those down. And this is probably one of the most stable tents you're gonna find uh, for the mountains. And even here, on these tie-outs, you have that extra grid stop. So go ahead and open that up. So, there you have it on me sitting in. I mean, it's a, my head is touching there. But for me, that's not an issue. The issue would be when I'm laying down if my head and feet touch. First impression here is that it's definitely more room than something like the Hilleberg Innon as far as the inside tent. And the footprint isn't too much bigger. I really like this inner tent. That's solid, solid, solid craftsmanship. Oh, I like that big opening there. I like how you still got your vestibules even when you open it up. Yeah. 
So you still, you still got a vestibule even when you open this up. Granted, it's not massive, but it's big enough for most hikers, solo hikers. Now what I did, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but this door flap I just put in that little pocket there, which is a different kind of solution, but extremely effective. I like that. Uh, you can see this inner tent is actually quite big with those two tie outs there. And if I get in, I can kind of show it's got this big there and it's got your air right where your vent is. That's an excellent design. It's got a little hook thingy up there. And again, you've got the same setup on that side. I mean, you could easily get a person and a dog in this without too many problems. And actually, with that amount of floor space, I could easily bring one of my kids with me. Of course, not both of them, but one of them anyway. With my feet. Now, granted, I don't have a sleeping pad, but it still gives me more room gives an idea of the vestibule space so there's definitely enough room for a backpack as long as you're not carrying you know an 80 liter kaika or something uh, then you'll be just fine yeah so that's just to give give you a quick kind of a rundown of the pretense light rock so light rock tent one man freestanding tent and uh, I would guess that it's good for people up to about 190 to 193 maybe at the max. Uh, and maybe taller if you don't mind mushing the inner tent. And truly impressive craftsmanship. Uh, I have to say that, uh, yeah. Everything that I would want to see in a top-notch tent is here. Every single tie-out is protected with that extra material there, the X-Pack. Every single seam is got that extra bit of protection on them. There's no shortcuts at all. And uh, that, that's truly impressive to see in a modern modern product, actually. Yeah, backpackinglight.se. If you like the product, buy it. We, we have them exclusively at backpackinglight.dk in the Euro Europe and .se in Sweden. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe helps us and then we've got a few other non-active social media accounts uh, such as a Facebook page and an Instagram and uh, don't expect daily updates because I'm pretty pretty terrible at that kind of stuff cheers